Now we'll talk about reciprocals. And first we'll answer the question, what is a reciprocal? And we'll answer it by looking at these examples. The reciprocal of two-fifths, and write this into the notes here, the reciprocal of two over five is five over two. The reciprocal of four over nine is nine over four. The reciprocal of x over 10 is 10 over x. And the reciprocal of 3a over x minus 2 is x minus 2 over 3a. So a reciprocal of a fraction is simply that fraction flipped over. Take the top, put it on the bottom, take the bottom, put it on the top. Now what about a number? What if I had a number like this, the number 3? What's the reciprocal of 3? Well remember that 3 is the same thing as 3 over 1. So instead of 3, I could write it as a fraction, 3 over 1. And the reciprocal of 3 would be the same as the reciprocal of 3 over 1. So it would just be 1 third. So with that in mind, answer the following. What is the reciprocal of 1 third? Well, the reciprocal of 1 over 3 is 3 over 1, which is just 3. The reciprocal of 25 Remember, 25 is the same as 25 over 1, so the reciprocal of 25 is 1 over 25. The reciprocal of 1 over 20 is the same thing as 20 over 1, which is just 20. So the reciprocal of 1 20th is 20. And let's look at the same idea with some variables. The reciprocal of x is 1 over x. The reciprocal of a plus b, think of that as a single thing. The reciprocal of a plus b is 1 over a plus b. Because a plus b could be thought of as a plus b over 1. So the reciprocal would be that flipped over. Now being able to work with reciprocals is very important. And if you understand reciprocals and you're proficient at working with them, then a lot of math problems can be made a lot easier to solve. Now let's look at some important mathematical concepts involving reciprocals. And we'll start off with this. Look at this, 1 over 3 times 3 over 1. Well that's going to equal 1 and you might see that the 3 up top and the 3 down here will cancel out and we just have 1 times 1 over 1 times 1 which is just 1. That will always be the case. If we take a number and its reciprocal and multiply them together we always end up with 1. So 5 over 6 times 6 over 5 is equal to 1. And that's true even if variables are involved. a over 3 times 3 over a will equal 1. And it's not just true for numbers and variables. Any mathematical expression multiplied by its reciprocal will equal 1. So in this example down here, we have 3x plus 2 over 5a times 5a over 3x plus 2. We have one mathematical expression multiplied by its reciprocal. The answer will be 1. You could think of this as the 5 on the top and the bottom canceling out, the a canceling out and the 3x plus 2 on the top and the bottom canceling out. Everything cancels out, so we just have 1 over 1, or just 1. But just take note that we have a mathematical expression and its reciprocal multiplied together, and the product is 1. Now let's think for a moment about reciprocals and negative numbers. The reciprocal of negative 2 would be 1 over negative 2. And that would be also written as negative 1 over 2 or negative 1 over 2. Either of these answers is this, the same. Those are all mathematically equivalent. And it's more common to see it written like this or like that rather than having the negative sign down there in the numerator. The reciprocal of negative x would be 1 over negative x. And again, that would be more commonly written as negative 1 over x or negative 1 over x. So just note that the following are all mathematically equivalent. Negative 1 over a, that's equal to negative 1 over a, and that's equal to 1 over 
negative a. In other words, if you have a negative sign in front of a fraction, that's the same as having the negative sign in the numerator or in the denominator. And it's not very common to see a, a fraction left like that with a negative sign tacked on to the denominator. These are pretty common though, having a negative sign out in front of the fraction or in the numerator like that. That would be considered a more proper. So if you have a result where the negative sign ends up in the denominator, it's, it's uh, common to rewrite it in one of these two forms.